Yeah, yeah, baby. What's up? What's up? It's the Re Up Top 10 on Sound Music Chart Show. And you back. It's another one. I ain't even alone. I'm not alone. I'm usually with my homeboy, my OG, Ntugza, Zuki. Tonight, but today, yeah, today is the KT Takeover. Hey, baby. How you hey. doing? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. Man, I missed this space. In the building, baby. <laughs> Oh, it's about to be fun. It's about to be crazy. You know what I mean? So uh, we got another jam-packed episode. You know what I mean? On mm. I Love Malvo Podcast Space Corp. We in the building. It's your boy Ntato Tema. And I'm with my girl KT Griffiths. The G in the building, you know? This week, we're going to start it off with uh, number 10 and number 9 on the chart show. Mm-hmm. We got uh, Slime featuring Rav with Oh My Word, OMW. And then we have at number nine, we have Tepa Kalido and Mtandaza with uh, Ulikoki. Uh, yeah, let's get right into it, man. Still here. All the money on the short shot. Hit the stage and make them jaws drop. Hammer time like a storm. Cause she love me for the awesome. Pull out game, been exceptional. Thought it was that it was never real. That's how the hype it can make you feel. Done the law, man, I got the film. I came to chill, it just give me the go, but my head it and ghost. Me and my niggas, some sunnies and folk got the grip in your souls, and the troopers are froze. Ice in my face, you can feel I be cold. Shit is just different when getting the dope. You wouldn't know, cause you're thinking it's broke. Alex, my shark the shoulders, I'm shifting the globe. So much action, need a GoPro. My shooter pointer for the promo. Money chats, give a FOMO. Stacking chips, this ain't go slow. You should get out of my way. You should get out of my face. I got no time for your egg. I got the pay for the chase. I got the cash every day. So much action, need a GoPro. Over focused in my dojo. Couple bitches on my phone though. Hit them back, that's a no no. She should get out of my way. You should get out of my way. I don't got time for the hate. I got the paper to chase. I gotta make a new wave. Fly dudes, be the band. Your girl thirsty, need a damn. So much shade, need a dan. OMG, he the man. Moke the game. Black coffee, get dream, don't need a hand. Oh damn, it's the gam on it. See your girl getting macked on. Strike a pose as my arms fold with a smug face like it's Capcom. Overskilled and I'm underpaid. Outshine him in the summer shade. Night vision when I tunnel gaze. Thunder strike me in a hundred ways. In the same spot, if I ever quit in my number days. No such. Hoes blush when I post up. Stealth mode, so I go hush. Silence killer like I'm dead smiles. Can't explain, it's the X file. New flow with the new drip. By the time it catch, I'm on the next style. So much action, need a GoPro. My shooter point up for the promo. Money chats, give a FOMO. Stacking chips, this ain't go slow. You should get out of my way. You should get out of my place. I got no time for your hate. I got the pay for the chase. I got the cash every day. So much action, need a GoPro. Over focused in my dojo. Couple bitches on my phone though. Hit them back, that's a no no. She should get out of my way. You should get out of my way. I don't got time for the hate. I got the pay for the chase. I gotta make a new wave. Fly dudes, be the band. Your girl thirsty, need a damn. So much shade, need a dan. OMG, he the man. Moke the game, black coffee. Get dream, don't need a hand.
about me when you barely know me. So hold on, don't be, don't be, don't be. How do you love me when you barely know me? So hold on, don't be, don't be, don't be. We are God. How do you love me when you barely know me? So cold and don't be, don't be, don't be at all. Baby, that was hot. That was crazy. That was that was. Uh, why are we talking about lying? Yeah, the song. I don't know. Every time I listen to it, I'm like, Yo, Mara, this ex of mine. I know he lied to me, and then his life. Out here breaking kids, he was hot. <laughs> so. on, who breaks my heart? Me. <laughs> me. What did I do? Eh? Some guys, you even give them the chance. Anyway, <laughs> that was number ten with Slime, uh, featuring Rav with O M W. Oh my word. <laughs> That was a nice track. Uh, and then number now we had Tepa Kalido featuring Tandaza Ulikoki. All about lying and all about lies. love and lust and whatever. <laughs> you know, ooh. Anyway, uh, endorsements are a form of advertising that uses prominent figures who command a high degree of recognition, trust, respect, and awareness in the eye of the masses. Mm-hmm. We look at some of the biggest endorsements in recent memory within the South African entertainment industry. Uh, Can I just say, Jay, we are doing very well in South Africa when it comes to endorsements. When I'm looking at it, I'm like, wow, a lot of celebrities are, are getting a lot of endorsements. And I think the one way to get your words, your name out there is through these endorsements, right? Yeah. And I still haven't gotten there. But you know what? One day, Nike will look at me. <laughs> Nike's going to want me. Do you feel like it's just about getting your name out there or also about sp- spreading a message? Um... Well, personally, I, for me, I was, uh, to get my name out there, you know, yeah, if, sure. if I'm being selfish but about like, it, yes, for something, you know, I am standing for something. I'm standing for great shoes. <laughs> great shoes. Oh, I like <laughs> that. You're standing for swag. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, let's look at like the top six list of the biggest endorsements in South African entertainment mm. recently, mm-hmm. as of late. Number six, we have AKA with Hunters. The Hunters ad. You didn't even know AKA was endorsed by Hunters. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, he is, but I don't. So does he drink it like AKA? Maybe Just he looks like such a cider person to wash down the cruise. You know, <laughs> with the Hunters. Hey, AKA, I find wash down the hapu, You know, <laughs> take <that> down. <laughs> yeah, and then we have Maps Maponyane no Muzima Bena. With the Adidas um, endorsement mm, at number five. Mm, mm, do I not wish to be there That's right a now? Cool one. That's endorsed cool, by Adidas. Yeah. You know what I mean? We are tired of getting knockups, guys. Got yours. Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that at Small Street? I am, brah. <laughs> you know the shoes have four lines. You just you don't know, brah. You don't know. <laughs> four lines. <on. laughs> Yo, KT. Yeah, and then we got um, the Tumelen Kune at number now, four. That guy is an OG. You see, getting endorsed by Nike, I respect you. Nike's one of the greatest when it comes to endorsements. They've given crazy endorsements internationally, like some I, of the best. I need that connection, bro. I need it in my life. They usually you imagine to like sports stars, though. Like I can do sports. Mm-hmm. What do you do, girl? I exercise my rights. <laughs> you know, I exercise my rights. Exactly. What you What know, more sports do I need I to do? I kick it with the homies. I get a run. I run away from the cops. What else? What else do I need you to run. do? <laughs> as long as you run. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did. All right. All right. Okay, and then we've got um at number three, Nomza Mombata with uh Neutrogena and Puma. Neutrogena is uh like a cereal, right? Is what is it? It's like 
what is Neutrogena? Because when I read it, I thought it was a skincare product. Like an energy bar Ganty. or something. Maybe I'm ill-informed. Clearly, I am. <laughs> you and I about both. About <laughs> such things. But it's all right. Shout out to her, though. Like, bro, she's number three. You know, With, that and is, Puma as and well. Puma faded, but, you know. Speaking of Puma, you know. She deserves it, though. She, she's hot. She, she, I'm a fan. Mm. Wow. No, no surprise. Yo, no, I'm a fan. I never thought. Of course, bro. I thought you'd be more of the moon child, you know. Oh, moon child, yeah. Fan. No, no, no. She makes good music. I'm a fan musically, yes. Mm-hmm, but, but you wouldn't. You know, I'm not really like into the whole social media buzz or following the hype around the sexuality and what, what. Mm-hmm. You no, know, nah, I'm good. Hmm. There's a lot that I am learning. Like, I thought <laughs> I knew this guy, but clearly I don't know him. But this is a learning curve for me. And she got Puma. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Pumba, Kokas, yeah, guys. Puma. <laughs> Puma, that's a good one. That yeah. is a good one. At number two, we got Casper in your vest. I'm not even surprised. Yeah. No, I'm not surprised. Endorsed by MTN. Ah, I'm not surprised. You this got guy wanted to fill up the dome. Yeah, man. yeah. Jeez. I read about and it. You're stuck with him. Mm-hmm. And he's doing quite well. Like Casper in your vest is one of those artists that I never thought like he'd blow up. Mm-hmm. When I first listened to his music, because I'm like, oh, another one. By the time be. you were already hearing his music, he was on his way to blowing up. Fam. That's the thing. And the thing is, he's the first artist. Is, is he? Would would we call him a rap artist? Yeah. Yeah, he is the first rap artist in South Africa that I actually didn't mind listening to. Is it? Yeah, it's him. It's Ko, and I somewhere somehow I fell in the. Um, What's what's this guy's name? That guy, the Kosa rapper that is not famous now anymore. Big Kosa. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I funny. Yes, yes. Ah! <laughs> I used to listen to him. Oh! Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, that's how I feel. <laughs> that's how I feel. Shout out Tech Baby. Disciplining <laughs> Tech Lady. <laughs> but I used to like his his music. That that one track that he did. I don't know any other track of Which Over Fanny. A mini, a mini. No, no, no. Is what? Come on, he's a Come cool. On, he's a cool rapper. He is. He Come is. I mean, it's just unfortunate that right now he's out of the game. But yeah, Kespanyo Vest. He is like the artist that I listen to, and I still listen to, and I respect his hustle, and yeah. I respect his craft. I respect his grind. And yeah. I remember when what I'm, you call they had that show. Where Beyonce came and Jay Z, yes, ah, Casper did it for me there. Were you there? Aye, it's not much. But uh, like <laughs> I was watching it, <laughs> watching it from home, and ah, man, that was one amazing performance. He pulled it off, and I couldn't be so proud of. Yeah, and now sure. he's a dad. Like, yeah, now it's he's amazing. a dad. Yeah, shout out to Cass anyway, man. You know, I met him that year when he dropped out of high school. He was signed to, well, he wasn't really signed. He was working with uh, Tasman, mm-hmm. a friend of mine um, in my neighborhood. Tato, why do I feel like you know everybody? Um, I met Casper back then. And then, you know. Um, like, I need to <laughs> live with Tato now. <laughs> he does. Yo, man, we chill it, man. You know? <laughs> I should go with you everywhere. This- <laughs> no, let me finish my story. Uh-huh. The last time I saw him in those streets, in that mm-hmm. neighborhood, right? It's so nostalgic because um, it was a Sunday afternoon. Mm. I saw him walking from the KFC up by Le Streetwise 2. He was staying at Tasman Studio, hustling and doing tracks and working and collaborating with whatever he was doing mm-hmm. at that time. And he was still coming up, building mm. his name, you know, in the circles of the industry, such as myself. But, you know, I wasn't that deep at that time yeah. because I was still in high school. Yeah. He had dropped out. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I respect the hustle, bro. I saw that dude walking with a Streetwise 2. Like, the last time I saw him on that block. On oh, a Streetwise 2. 10 years After later. After having dropped out. 10 years later, he's filling up the dome. I swear to you, 10 years later to that day, he's filling up the dome. On that Sunday, 10 years later, I'm reading in the paper, he's got an endorsement or a sponsorship from KFC to fill up the dome. I now, don't... is that not so symbolic? Is that not special in my shoes when you look at a guy like that? And you've seen him come up and he's there where he's at. You know, with Casper, I don't know if this is the kind of person we should be telling our kids about or keeping it to ourselves. Because he did a good and bad thing. He dropped out of school. But it's at life. the same time, he followed his dream. So you don't know which category to put him in. 
you just don't know but he's a complicated being who actually made it in life and it's it's so sad that most people that are actually <laughs> trying to do what he did they're not really successful but he be able he he was able to pull it off yeah. hey kesba you are complicated it's not about pulling anything off it's about knowing yourself man that mm-hmm. guy knew himself he was quite smart even back and then. he was not going to stop for anybody huh? he wasn't talking like the conversation i had with him i remember nasa buin to eta mang so so na go to street on the yeah guilty anyway who do we have on number 1 number 1 come on we got queen b bonang with um the first african face of revlon being the first african face of revlon i feel like she said didn't this happen in 2015 or am i lying to myself mm-hmm. it happened like sometime in the 2000s man you know 2013 I mean? yeah that's when it happened and i feel like she's <laughs> the one that like set the bar for everybody else no who who did not the tema the first african black face of dark and lovely I well, mean, real African face of dark and Real life. African face. All of them other girls. What do you mean real African? American or European <laughs> or, you know? <laughs> I'm just saying. But shout out to Bonang. <laughs> you got it bad, girl. You have like, Revlon. You deserve it, by was the way. Revlon, but like who's the who's the creator of of Revlon? Isn't it a a, a white person? I don't know. Cuz I listening hearing the name Revlon it sounds like it was created by a white person. So for a black person to kind of get into that territory and dominate and become the face of mm, but black people been using that product forever. So it's about damn time to give us that recognition. <laughs> we shouldn't be applauding it anyway. You know, we should but, be just saying, "Yeah, mm-hmm, that's my girl." But for the fact that we're actually getting into, you know, we are stepping into that territory. It's it's a it's a great step. Cuz okay. after her came Ubani Ubuntle and forgot the other names but like african people are actually getting these endorsements and look at ganya who's the face of ganya right now um natasha oh yeah hey yeah you'll see yeah like fam i know yeah, yeah, you got like that that's the stuff but let's get back to the chart man mm-hmm. yeah yeah let's see y'all with another double playback two songs yeah number 8 number 7 Uh at number 8 we got Lebu GSA featuring CJ with Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Yeah, yeah. And at number 7 we got a new entry, a very very hot exclusive exclusive uh, this track is going to do big things. Trust me, you're going to see it. You're going to check it out. Uh-huh. The videos, the visuals are crazy. The uh-huh. the arrangements, you know what I mean? It's nice. Um Shaz Deep featuring Uni Boys. Patricia Becha. Patricia Becha. I need to meet these guys. We never get guys so better. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's get it. That's it. Number 8, number 7. Okay. Okay. 
the sun to the city of the lights Bold in my sight, it shines so bright They said I'm focused on your imagination Fuck that, cause I brought to life From a small town, couldn't think out the box Now closer, I can feel these rocks feel crisp out Hitting straight shots, stacking paper I'm building with these blocks People said I would never make it Manic goals, never patient like J. Cole I got people saying who that Be clear height there, you can check the format As a little nigga, never really cared about strength With a punchline through the fucking A-track Put these lines together and I'm digging them packs Now Strokes is calling, I'm making my tracks Making my tracks, people choo choo me behind my back. Now people gon' see, okay. change the game to be okay. the MVP or level G. Do you see what I see? Cause I see what you see, I see what you see. Hell yeah, nigga. Cause the niggas didn't believe me. Right. From Bible to the city, oh love. Try to make a living, no oh love. Just believe I never stick. I be grinding all day. Grinding all night, I be grinding all day. From sunny to Josie. Turn it to Josie, turn it to Josie. Let's believe I won't stop. I'll be grinding all day, grinding all night. I'll be grinding all day. Oh, no. From driver to the city, oh, love. Oh, trying to make a living, oh, love. Let's believe I never stop. I'm 
Ya sea pecha. <laughs> pues, how, you, how, how does it feel so? Because, you know, sometimes, like, we wish we had yeah, it's good, pecha, uh, smarae, the streets. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's <laughs> down. <laughs> we patch ourselves now. But you know what? It's okay. No, no, okay. No, no, the song no, is no, giving no. me hope. Where there are still guys out there who are willing to patch. Yeah. That was dope, though, man. That was a good song. Number eight was Lip GSA and CJ. Oh mm-hmm. Lord. Number seven, Shaz D featuring Uni Boys. Siapecha. Mm-hmm. Got KT all in your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> oh my girl. I'll buy you some flowers. Oh, and it was my birthday not so long ago. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, you know, I'll be waiting for those flowers. Don't worry about it. I got you. <laughs> we out here. Okay, okay. So um, you know, um, every artist or every upcoming artist. Mm-hmm. Is an actual brand. There's a business. Mm. So uh, we're going to talk about what is branding and why it is important for your business. You know what I mean? So um, strategyglobal.com, they say um, the Cambridge Dictionary defines branding as the act of giving a company a particular design or symbol in order to advertise its products and services. Mm -hmm. Not so long ago, this was a pretty accurate description of branding, at least what the general consensus was at the time. Branding was and still is misunderstood Mm -hmm. by being reduced to its aesthetic components, visual identity. For many, branding, um, for many, whether specialists or not, branding is still just about the visual identity, name, logo, design, packaging, etc., etc. Even more so, while the concept of branding and its understanding have evolved enormously over the years. The same old vision of branding is being preached even by high-level marketers. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So, with that in mind, how do you feel like is one of the things that are missing with many upcoming artists? So, what what would you give as a word of advice to an upcoming artist when it comes to like branding or taking that first step to being something different? You know. Well, from what I've gathered, upcoming artists don't really focus on branding much. Yeah. and They don't. If anything, they're all about merch, having their, their names on t-shirts. And I'm like, but that's not... They, they that's not all there is to it brah you need to you know work on on on, on making sure that you on social media you are blasting those the, the, the place off brah you have to make sure that your name is 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 there on social media you also have to work on and i love how how they mentioned uh what you call logo design packaging and your name right mm-hmm. like you need to have a logo because you are a brand if you're sure. yeah you as a musician you are a brand i consider myself as a brand and i need to have like a certain imagery about me or else there's nothing special about me and there's nothing that people can relate to when it comes to me you know packaging they need to know what i'm about okay i'm 
I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a musician. What kind of musician am I? It needs to show in my branding. Okay, she's a gospel artist. You can see there. She's got a halo around her. You know, that kind of thing. I don't think they focus much on that. You know, yeah. and it's 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 equally as important as you working on whatever it is that you're working on, whether it be you, you being a musician or you being an actress. It goes hand in hand. You can't have the one without the other. Yeah, that's true. In a yeah, in a light, sensible way, it's very true. Uh, I think like mostly it's about you know finding a USP, a unique selling point. Uh, true. Standing apart mm-hmm. from the competition you know study the competition well not even study it but study the game know mm-hmm. the competition mm-hmm. keep your eye on them but differentiate yourself work on being different mm-hmm. or being uh, cut above the rest yeah I always say because it's a it's a vast pool yeah in whatever industry that you're in in whatever field that you're in always consider that there are other people who are trying to push the same thing as you yeah. you need to look for that one thing that works for you and you know that you can't get it with any other artist this is who i am this is what i bring and i do it the best i like that this is who we are this is what we bring and we does this it the best <laughs> now I me mean, we does this it the best man is it you know, <laughs> and we gonna hit you with some more other exclusive that we does visit the best. We does this, do on these streets. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, take lady, hit him up with that um, number six and number five. Let's get him with another double playback. Right. Right. So, who we have on number six is as I look for my paper. Look at okay. me. Okay, so on number six we have Fame. Is it Lico? Yeah, Fame Lico. Fame Lico featuring Prof. Prof C's, C's and yeah. Ben B. Sad drill on fire. Wow. Okay. Are we doing two songs? Yeah, two and songs. And then after that, we're going to have Levi, the craftsman featuring Lou, who I know personally. Couch Energy. Beep, 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 beep. Enjoy. Been up from rice. No. Young nigga came out cock. Pucking it, pucking it, buck. He's licking my fingers. I'm in Kentucky. Boy can't touch me. How do your leg bitches come in? They fuck. Broke ass niggas, they see me, they duck. While they hoes, they calling, they stuck. And they clean, 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 clean. So, mix my car, they smoking that dope. Still out of water, I'm pucking that boat. Pity a nigga, that shit is a no. You broke on your ass, that shit is your fault. Ice on my wrist, batteries, had a coat. I'm the wave of the season, I'm staying afloat. You preach to the kids, and I trust like a pole. Seeing team bitches in your cast and kitty. We're same generation, they can't pay love, but kitty. We're punja nisi, we're see, we're cast and we see. We're tetang and malun, papa nisi. I'm making People like sauce. We am from for the people we rather get scars. I would like to teach you, leave you with truth, it's prof. I'm the type that rather fit bars. Deal like heavy TV, careful here rule. My little as I'm from the TV, careful with this guy. Can't touch me. I'ma take your new school. New school, I'ma kick it like Kung Fu Moksazi. So gay, if you're feeling this vibe, must jive. Get the piece of that pie, must fight. Can't you touch it, I'll buy it. BMI, we're getting the cheese and kept it. Die. Clean, 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 clean. So, mix not caught it, smoking that dough. Still out of water, I'm parking that boat. Pity a nigga, this shit is a no. Broke on your ass, that shit is your fault I saw my wrist, out of wrist, had a coat I'm the wave of the season, I'm staying afloat You preach to the kids and I trust like a pope Cling, 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 cling I'm clean, chicken, licking, wing, wing Flexing the ice on my wrist The Henny, boy, your thoughts here's a penny. I want the cheese, cheese. BMI like the keys, keys. Ice on my wrist, freeze. Spade is a spade, nigga, call it. Your niggas ball on the budget. I want the kiss to the city. We at the top, sitting pretty. Yeah, let's make a movie, no PG, drippy. Got that pussy on Fiji, she tell me she need me. I tell her she need it. Go dip in it, disappear like a dini. I style a Vesta. Never met the bitch, but I fucked her like a mister. Location is PVT. That chest like a Mizzy E. No pressure, no VVV. She wants Prada and Louis V. Pray for peace and tranquility. Fuck all that she say, he say. I hear assumptions. Went from nothing to something. Now we're clean, 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 clean. So, mix not caught it, smoking that dough. Still out of water, I'm pocking that bone. Pity a nigga, that shit is a no. You broke on your ass, that shit is your fault. Ice on my wrist, out of reach, had a cold. I'm the wave of the season, I'm staying afloat. You preach to the kids and I trust like a pope. Clean, 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 clean. clean. Thank you. 
unacceptable. Where is you? I'm not a snitch. I'm not a snitch. Tell me I'm seeing my office when you get there. I'm having so much fun, excuse me. I'm having so much fun. He missed me, guys. It's understandable, okay? <laughs> Yo, man, you know. So, yeah, we out here. That was um number six for this week. Fame Lico featuring Prophecies and Ben B. Baby, baby. Mm-hmm. Set Drill on Fire. That's a new entry on the chart anyway, by the way. Um, I like it. It's quite poppy. Yeah. You know, I think it's... Yeah, bro, the boys got potential, man. Shout out to the boys, man. And then on number five, we had Lou. Yeah. And the name of the song is Andy Zuvangawe. Yeah. If I could sing like that, I'd sing you a song, girl. And from the moment you walked through that door, you saw how excited I was? <laughs> I was probably trying to sing you a song if I could sing like that. <laughs> <laughs> he was really excited, guys. He made me feel so happy to be here. Oh, I shed a tear. Oh, At least right. a young tear. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we now, Tato? 
Yeah. All right. So um, we're back with the brands and mm-hmm. the branding. Okay. Mm-hmm. So brands are essentially uh, patterns of familiarity, meaning, fondness, and reassurance that exist in the minds of the people. That's a quote from Tom Goodwill. Thank uh, you, Tom. Thank you. Branding expert. Okay. So um, this article goes on to say branding is important because not only is it what it makes a memorable impression on consumers, but it also allows your customers and clients to know what to expect from your company. It is a way of distinguishing yourself from the competitors and clarifying what it is you offer that makes you the better choice. Your brand is built to be a true representation of who you are as a business and how you wish to be perceived. Mm-hmm. on what we said, You have to uh, distinguish your unique selling point yeah, standing out from from your competitors and that's what a lot of like of the great people would also say like um who was that maratona or muhammad ali one of them i read a quote you know i read a lot in my, yeah. in my times um one of them had a quote man that says something about you must um look at the game you want to play study the game you want to play and decide how you're going to play differently mm-hmm. from everybody else and that will be the moment you actually find yourself playing better Mm-hmm. and also it's all about focusing on what you've already started I, I don't like this thing of when you start something and you decide that this is your target market this is the person that i'm going to be this is my brand and then later on during the um later on down the line you feel like it's not working and then you want to change it i feel like consistency also plays a part in your brand being as successful as you want it to be yeah for sure hey, sh- Going right back now to Casper, oh, the guy oh, okay had a vision yeah he was like, this is what I am going for. He established his brand and he continued with it. I mean, we lost the, the pony somewhere along the line. At least. But, at least. <laughs> but that, that got him in the game. We're all like, oh my God. Yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, I was like, I also had a cast for your guys. You had a pony? Oh, I, of course. Um, of course. This is me. Talking about. <laughs> That's my brand. I try out everything. But yeah. <laughs> and 10 years later, the dome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. Look yeah. at him. Yeah. And that's it's all about consistency and and sticking to your story. I would imagine you're gonna change your story somewhere along that you're gonna end up in jail. But anyway, <laughs> you end up in jail. Yeah. Okay. So your um, own prison, prison of the mind. What is branding? If the explanation of branding was simple, there would not be so much ambiguity and dissonance regarding the concept. Still, for most part, for the most part, a strong understanding of branding requires a decent grasp of business, marketing, and even human relational basics. Branding is such a vast concept that a correct definition that truly encompasses everything that it represents would not bring too much clarity to the subject just by itself. But for the sake of lower, lowering the propagation of obsolete, incorrect, and incomplete information about branding, we offer a more complete definition. Branding is the more perpetual process of identifying, creating, and managing the cumulative assets and actions that shape the perception of a brand in the stakeholders' minds. Cut. Okay. That was a lot of school in the classroom talk. Break it down, Tato. Science, baby. You Break know? it. Don't let me tell you, me, I bring. I feel like that kid. I like to bring. Let me let me tell you what's up. I like to bring um a little bit of science in my my research and my mm-hmm. presentation of the show because music is a science. Like to write a song so brilliantly, like these artists that we are showcasing on our, it's not easy. You know what I mean? It's a it's it's a technicality. It's a level of being. Uh, intuitive and it's all a science like spiritually emotionally and understanding your environment and everything that revolves around what you want to go into or get into or what you're about and yourself so i want to you know break things down in as much of a delicate manner as i can <laughs> as soon as you mentioned that i was like yes you're right it needs just a bit of sodium chloride yeah. and a bit of nitrogen and then you infuse that together with some h2o and you have your- <laughs> the bomb baby you got the bomb <laughs> you know what i mean yeah that's what it is i um, feel like that deserves some clapping has but it's okay it's so nice. <laughs> no it's all good i got my own hands girl. god gave me these hands you know ain't no science in that <laughs> so um I don't know, B. Uh, let's get back to the chart, man. Before we just start talking, and 
blabbing. But like branding is something that is vast, you know. Like to, oh, branding. I feel like we need a class on branding. But you know what? We're gonna talk about that later. Are we going back to the to the to the chart? Um yeah, we're going back to the chart. Okay, so where are we? Are we are at number four. Yeah, number so four. So we have is it ITE or IT music? Okay, IT music featuring Colin Castro. No Wahala. Wahala. Yeah, that's and then uh and then we got um a guest. Uh-huh. My brother, my homeboy, cross Hugo 2 v James, gospel artist, um Nollywood actor. Uh you know, he's been around in the industry, hallways, hustling, I'm always, the all days. Like you know? oh, so yeah. We have um, a reality TV star. Yeah. After we play number four, the uh Colin Castro Noah Hala song, we're gonna mm-hmm. play you his new song, which is our bubbling under for this week okay we don't really have bubbling under but i had to have a bubbling under <laughs> and call my brother and be like yo let's kick it for a minute you know so, so it's like, called yeah. i testify I testify enjoy it man let's go I go give you the best, no ahala, ah ya ya ya. Show you my money, I know you want it, ah ya ya ya. I love me your body, yeah. I love it when you go down low. I told you you my baby, yeah. I can never let go.
And we are back. Yes, we're back, sir. We're back, yes, we're sir. Back, we're back. We are here. We are here. So um, that was number four, man. Ike Music featuring Colin Castro. Mm -hmm. No, Ahala. One of my favorite songs on the chart, man. It's so African with the aesthetic, so original. You know what I mean? Well, I have a favorite now. Yeah, no, I have Ahala. a favorite. And then you we do played. I know my favorite is the I Testify fam. I Testify is my favorite. Oh, yeah? Like, I've been here, like, yeah, I Testify. <laughs> Shout out to that. Shout out to that. By the way, in the building, <laughs> we got my homeboy Cross Euro 2V James. Shout out, man. Thanks for coming through. The creator through, of the song Thank himself. You. Thank, you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, man. Can you give us, um, like, a brief description of yourself, man. Like for the people that are engaging with you for the first time, bro. You oh, know? Okay, okay. Well, I feel fire in here, bro. Come on, guys. What are you doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> so much fire. All right. My name is Ugo Toby James. I'm a Nollywood actor, gospel singer, um, producer, director. As so, you know how it is. It's in the. It just goes on and on. But uh, basically, based in South Africa, in and now South Africa and Nigeria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um. What inspired you, man, like to do that testify song? I want to know about this I testify song because it's <laughs> it's our bubbling under, man. Mm -hmm. And it's, and it's got me now. wanting to testify. So, Come on now. Know, well, um, that's a that's a preacher called Apostle Joshua Sermon. Mm -hmm. Uh he I listen to him, I follow him all the time, and I listen to his words. And he's actually the first person that sang that song. You know, like uh, he just randomly sang it like on his own. I testify your goodness is real. And I like Oh, you like that, that, that slogan? There. Then I decided to make it my own, where I now modify it and then now bring it because I know that each and every one of us that lives on this planet Earth from 2020 to now, with COVID hitting our lives and mm. families, and you're still standing, then you need to testify. Yeah. That's God, bro. And That's only to, God, yeah? You know, businesses are no longer working. People are still, you know, for you to survive and look good and all the time, you need to testify. Yeah. So that song was written under that level of what so much people have been through and also what so much has been given to you as a privilege to still stand and experience life. Yeah. For sure, for sure. So um you have like been in like uh the media industry, like I'm still uh, I'm still back there. doors, passage, <laughs> hallways, behind the scenes, doing a lot of things, yeah. building your brand. Um, the brand, yes. So we've been talking about endorsements and branding mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, throw your two cents in, man. Let us know, like, um, what is like the most valuable lesson you've learned, like, in like getting your brand to where it is right now. One thing, the thing, the thing about brand is actually you, and uh, that brand needs to stay alive. How does a brand stay alive? That people need to know that there is something that constantly come out from that brand mm. um if so that's how the brand is alive so a lot of people have they say they are they have brand or they're branded but sometimes they don't they're not alive to people so for instance now like you could do something that is so big 10 years ago but down the line nothing is coming from you and then you find out that somehow somewhere that brand just face off but as a brand that you've built a couple of years down the line you need to constantly feed people with something that constantly comes from you. Let's say you're an artist. Let's say you're an actor. Let's say you are a drummer. Uh, people need to see recent stuff that constantly comes from you as a brand. And that's how brand is actually stag. It's that's how, that's how it becomes a typical because all these things are mindset. Yes. How people view you, how people perceive you. Awareness. You know the awareness that you give. So it's actually that's what I'm saying that a brand must live you must be alive to be able to give me the awareness that i need from you yeah mm -hmm. so wow if you're not available i won't see the awareness that i need to get from you yeah that's yo yeah. that's very intricate for an answer that's dope man that's because we are talking to a creative yeah <laughs> yeah creatives. i love being surrounded by creatives <laughs> yeah. man. they Welcome always the bring building, a man. broader a different aspect to towards these these conversations that we're having and i love a fresh mind i love it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i like that so um guys let's hit them with another double playback man let's get back to the charts huh can we get the number three and number two 
this week we got black tea one of my favorites mm-hmm. Basupa. <laughs> shout out uh k1 got the home right my niggas in the east red hectic boulevard hectic mafana king zulu all of y'all um number two we got cool kid the vocalist with it uh let's get into it man Basupa. To blueprints for pulling a past the lookout. Your niggas kill the king. Don't rap and like the bad. I'll share with big bars and flows and like their ED bad. You all ain't really saying shit. Then like in Bodin Zala and my shut up. Best to my mele, let's do the masla. Shayang and my flow. I got pole, no devil, got flava. Always been heavy from the get go. No Zimba got java. I'm in Sabis and Pelele, and it's not a debate. Even your chick sleeps on you, I think you got three. Okay, I think it's hard time. We take it back to the root. Some of that hard good shit. So finger licking good. The corner music. Go in my melu, be mu shy and good. You know I go hard, man. Pet to give me on the scoop. Basuba, chavi nigga from K1. Pull up with the niggas, then you know. Basuba, squishy buva, yes nanda. Spoon all of my pepper, best to spoon my melcona. Chavi nigga from K1. Pull up with the niggas, then you know. Basuba, squishy buva, yes nanda. Piki piki ma bela ni puma we nak salaban na mus plege plegu shayi pase la ngom kalam one ah dribble the boot net make the keeper basing shayi goal over the white line I don't sniff I just drink my coke get all the man it's just me and my wordplay I wouldn't write like this on a serious note on my worst day your rap scene is sure I'll do it my way I understand how you rap I'm even X-ray. Two beasts from the east, now no y'all can touch this No escape in this black hole, I'm king of the surface I preach the gospel in this hip-hop and y'all are ashes Cause y'all sing more than rap, sounding like Asha Shout out to Cancerville all day, we packing heats Frequently sky high with the squad, the radio cloud deep First 11 all the time, and mommy scheme like Stevie G Better what the best, my rhyme scheme forever DVE Basuba, chubby nigga from K1 Pull up with the niggas, then you know Basuba, squishy buva, yes nanda Spoon all of my pepper, best to spoon my Melcona Chubby nigga from K1 Pull up with the niggas, then you know Basuba, squishy buva, yes nanda Spoon all of my pepper, best to spoon my Melcona Mics are up. We going back in. Yo, stand by. Yeah. Okay. My bad. We in. We back. It's the real up top ten on some music chart, baby, baby. Yes, I yes, bought my so girl excited. KT Griffiths. Of course. My homeboy you go to be James. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's been a good show. We have yeah, a fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, so what are the songs that we were listening to right now? Number three was Black Tea. Uh-huh. Pa Sopa. That was a good song for like I like it because I'm a I'm a rapper. So mm-hmm. It's just a typical rap song. It's not typical. It's very extraordinary. Trust me, it is. Well, for, it started off well for vernacular. You know, yeah. rapping in Tswana Zulu English and keeping the whole Africanism mm-hmm. part of your music. I like it. You know, that's the type of stuff I love. And number two was also another very beautiful song. Uh, cool kid, the vocalist uh, with Intizio. The video, oh, the Let's visuals, the, the visuals of that song <laughs> are as good as the lyrics of that song mm-hmm. and the arrangement and the production. It's a beautiful I listen song. to engineering as well, like you know, when it comes to the music. It's always the case how with, well with put together. It's it always the case with people who work behind the scenes. You no longer watch like the final product. You think, mm, I know how y'all did that. I can do better. 
Yeah. So it's like it's like watching movies. I can never watch a movie without thinking, "Ha, huh, you guys cheated there. I saw it. Oh. That was a bad angle. Like it 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 really disturbs you." <laughs> 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 but oh, yes, bro. we are still chilling with uh, Mr. Cross himself, uh, who was giving us a lot of insight on branding, and he said a lot. He said a mouthful, guys. Yo, bro, nigga answered <laughs> one question, but he like he was came like, through with a truckload of information. There was, I swear. You know, like he <laughs> he out. He's working. He's serious. He's he not playing. Yeah, so, so, Mr. Cross, I yeah. got a question for you. Okay. You are not. Uh, you are a uh, gospel artist, right? Yeah, so you can say well, what contemporary a, what, gospel artist. Contemporary gospel. Yeah. Don't worry, man, you in the same league. Like. Yeah. <laughs> so what inspired you to be a gospel artist? Well, um, for me, it's something that's been given to you. You know, you can't do what is not given to you. I can't be Casper, you know, Casper in your verse. It's been given to him to sing like that. I can't be David O. It's been given to him to sound like that. I can't be Whiskey. It's been given to him to have that ideology and mentality and creativity to sound like that comes across Ugo. I've been given this mentality mm. and ability to sound like this. That's why it's gospel. <laughs> that's I love it. that's wonderful. <laughs> and I'm glad that you know. You get it now. Mm -hmm. You know who you are, bro. Exactly. You're a person you gotta, with you the gotta, you gotta, you see, the iron of it is that a lot of artists do not... You see, we're all doing music. Music is music. Whether it's gospel or reggae or hip-hop, it's music. Everybody's trying to pass a message or say something. Yeah, it's all. Even if you listen to reggae music or you listen to, you go to Jamaica now. All of them, they all sing different thing in different ways, trying to communicate. Music is all about communicating something. But what is it? Communication. It depends on what you carry or who you are, what you stand for. What you, if it's revolutionary? You're talking about revolutionary. It's about human. You're talking about human being. We are talking about God Whoa. and His goodness. So yeah. that is our mandate, and that's what we've been called for. So it's simple. Gospel. That's, that's your brand, bro. I love exactly. that, man. You know, and you rep it. You stick to your code because all day, man. And then, we were talking to this and now, what's now, and now, see, Another thing that shocks people that now, when I say gospel, does that mean I'm perfect? No. no. I, where did, how did you and I met? We met at, at a bar, at a karaoke <laughs> bar, right? Yeah. So yeah. now, when you say gospel, people think you are holier than a that than. Like mm -hmm. even than thou, or like a pope or something. Yeah. No, but it's not. It's not. It's not what it's it's, not, it's, it's just, not what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. It's not what it is. Living, your, I, I feel like it's just you know being who you are, but sticking to your code and being principled. Yeah. You know, like even yeah, just being true. a Christian, like just stick to the code, be principled. You know, and, and treat and people as you say, as you always read about treating people. Exactly. You know? No, I must say, being a gospel that's artist. Branded. That's yes, your branding. Sir, Thank yes, you. Sir. Yes. Being a gospel artist doesn't mean that you're a saint. No, that you know you were a saint in the past. I mean, I feel like everybody has a story to tell. Exactly. And it's even better if you've been through these, you know, trials and tribulations. And now that you are becoming an artist and you, you are getting into that space of, my goodness, God took me out of that place. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Experience is the best teacher. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yes. But for you to sing, I testify, your goodness is real. Yeah, that is not a joke, guys. Mm. You know what I've been through. You know what God has saved me from. I know I be, I could have been dead by now. I've had accidents. I've had people shot at me with guns. I've got so many things that I know why I wrote that song. I testify that your goodness is truly real. Because sure. people don't think it's real. Mm -hmm. sure. and All that, right. that was gonna bring me to my second question. Like ever since you 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 started um being or rather ever since you started your journey and becoming a gospel artist how has your journey been and now you've mentioned you've got you've had what guns being pointed at you that's hectic yeah <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, safe to say, it's safe to say that it's you, you really had a, a rough one huh? it's a life it's just as long as you're on this earth you're gonna face it mm. one way or the other life will bring battles to you for sure it's how you're ready to fight and then also remember it's all the grace of god that was still here nobody yeah. some of us are not supposed to be here yeah but still because of his grace not that people that died are you're better than them not that you they are better than you but it just because yeah, god here, still baby. has a plan for you mm. no bullets you're still wounds, here no yeah. wounds. Yeah. god exactly. is great yeah you know and yeah. was there ever a point where you felt like giving up or where you felt like you know what i'm just too weak i can't continue with this anymore i'm out the thing is you know sometimes you know 
uh, as an artist, you want you believe that people will give you or see what you're doing and give you a certain kind of audience. Mm -hmm. But it's actually when the battle is even the more you're rejected the more you because you're doing gospel, uh, you're rejected the more because you have God in your song. You are. It's like they don't want to hear you. They don't want mm -hmm. to even feel you or even smell you. And then yeah, if sometimes you feel like all by yourself, you're alone. But the only good thing is that you need to be self-encouraged like David. Mm -hmm. He encouraged himself in the Lord. And if this thing is given to you one way or the other, one day or the other, somehow, some way or the other, you will be heard. <laughs> <laughs> Blessing, <laughs> young man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so can you give uh one last testimony to the people before we get into the last song, the number one song, and we wrap this up like you know your good word goodbye yes please well, give us well, your words well, of it's wisdom. not it's not even even it's not even testimony i just say look i i think look you as a person you're such a gift to this world do not always feel just because you're not in a certain place or certain shoes of people do not look down on yourself just remember to keep out and that's even branding again talking about branding the consistency you give anything you do mm. becomes the branding that we are talking about yeah so say to yourself no retreat no surrender and keep doing what has been given to you because it's given to you alone it may be given to a thousand people but you alone are the one feeling the way you're feeling yeah i'm saying this to artists who are feel that they are not heard they are not playing on radio or they are not accepted but please keep doing what you're doing don't give up do say to yourself no retreat no surrender one day if you hang around the barber shop long enough one day you're gonna get a haircut <laughs> <laughs> whoa yeah 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 no retreat no surrender I love it. Hey, so are there any projects before you let you go we can't just let you go are there any projects that you're working on right now what i'm doing as a as an actor apart from being an actor or if i'm not on set uh, music is the other side of me that is, has taken a hold of me. Mm -hmm. So I constantly do new songs. I've got a couple of songs I need to complete in the studio. Mm -hmm. I just dropped a new song called God's Ability God's is ability. Inside of You. Uh, that is uh, two weeks ago. It's busy trending in Nigeria, all over the world, on social media and all that. Yes. Um, yeah. So I'm busy working on new, new ones, new videos, new stuff. Just expect from me. No retreat no, no surrender, surrender. <laughs> yeah, <boy. laughs> okay that's dope no retreat no surrender man yeah. god is in the house he's in the building okay he's, yeah, if anybody I mean, tell you any different tell that guy to leave yeah, yeah. tell me <laughs> we're going number one all right yeah who do we have a number one i'm about to get all kirk franklin and stomp right yes, now yes sir no. <laughs> testify <laughs> I'm getting this so old passionate. I can see that. I can see that you you caught the fire right there. <laughs> I'm gonna catch the ghost. <laughs> Yo, let's go to number one, man. <laughs> okay, it's um. Uh, let me get myself together. <laughs> That was in a moment right now. He's having a moment. It's, this has been it. such a dope show, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Number one, we have um, Totem Tobo featuring various artists, including another friend of mine, Lindo, from the Teddy Bears back in the days with DJ Cleo. It's called Stop Killing Our Girls, Gender-Based Violence. Ladies, I love you. You know what I mean? Protect yourselves, man. Protect each other. Let's like, you know? Protect, I gotta protect my sister from my brother sometimes because I just want like my, my, my people to be together. And I feel this song like it's still at number one. I just wanted to get all personal and spiritual and because I'm in the moment, okay? So it's been a good show, guys. Thank you for joining me. I love yeah, we're not gone yet. I love Melville. I love y'all. No, we're wrapping up. <laughs> Trust me, we're wrapping we up. We can't leave yet. Listen, I gotta say. <laughs> I've never done a show with Ntato. So for me, this is a first. And I actually like your vibe. I really do. <laughs> and yeah, look at him. He's flushing. <laughs> and the, 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 the interview that we just had with you, it, it's great, man. It's always good to be sharing, you know, uh, our our journeys and how far we are in life and, and where we've been. And, you know, in the, in the, in the, 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 the 
the tribulations. I don't I don't want to say tribulations, but we we do go through a lot through the in these journey in this journey of ours, right? Yeah. And and there's a lot a lot that we learn from it. And I, I I like the fact that you know it, you said if 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 something is given to you, it's given to you. So if it's yours, all you have to do is just grab onto it, bro, oh. and just become. That's that's one of the things that and I'm going to take. It. Yeah, yeah, and handling. That's one of the things. That if I'm you're not take, given sure. to sing about booties and girls and women, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Stay in your lane, bro. You know. <laughs> it's all about right respect all our women in the house, all our women abroad, all the women, African women. We love you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. It's the re up. Baby, 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 top fifteen unsigned music chart. Yo, girl, don't turn that knob. I'm still trying to ID. Okay. It's the re-up <laughs> top 10 unsigned music chart show. I like this guy. The best. You know what I mean? From the West, East, South, North. We on the news mm-hmm. very soon. Yeah. Baby, with the new stuff. Okay. Exclusive. From the first song to the last song. This song we're playing right now. I spoke to the artist yesterday and he's yeah. like, man, I never even released that. You playing? I'm like, yo, bro, I got you. Okay. So it's exclusive. I'm telling you. We the re-up, baby. Number one, let's go. See you next week. Thank you. Amaya Gunsi Mem Shabe, Papelo Tatibet. Papelo Tatibet. I'm good, I'm shy, I'm mulat, I'm she's Can't be better than the I'm good, I'm shy, I'm mulat, I'm she's Can't be better than it is stop, stop, oh, stop, stop, stop killing our girls. Pull a lead, it is stop, stop, oh, stop, stop, stop killing our girls. Pull a lead, oh, who saw a lunton on Kitty M. Yang, oh, who's happened to go for love? Kulelis, oh, a pen up at Baba, a pen is the set, oh, oh, a leg and can ya bat, a sibon and a baba, oh,